Each year, SolidWorks puts out a new version of the software. Some years, there are major functionality updates, and other years, they focus on stability and ease of use. That being said, the core modeling techniques between all the versions of the software are basically the same. This course will be focusing on the core modeling skills and essential techniques, so not all the new features will be explored. However, if something is new, I will make a point to point it out and show the new functionality. However, in this video, I want to cover some of the major improvements between 2013 and 2014. First off, in 2013, they introduced backwards compatibility, which has been the number one request for SOLIDWORKS users for a long time. So what that means is SOLIDWORKS 2012 Service Pack 5 can actually open 2013 files with some compatibility. They also introduced costing, named views, direct equations, and direct entry dimensions. I'll point out a couple here. First off, I'm looking at this block here. If I go to the extrude one, go to the sketch, I can open that up. And if I have a dimension here like six, if I double click on that, instead of having to go to equations, I can actually type it right here. I can say equals two plus, and I can click on one of the other dimensions. I can overwrite that dimension right into there. And now it becomes an equation. Click OK. And notice I have the yellow equation symbol in front. 6.0, and there it is. It's the same dimension, but now it's driven. So what happens if I double click on this and I change it to six? This one actually changes to eight because it's an equation-driven dimension. That's really handy. You could always use equations, but now you can actually direct input them on the input bar. In 2014, we got a few extras. Number one is in the mate commands, we can add mates directly from the control bar. When we choose features in the main window, they automatically highlight over here in the feature manager. This can be really handy to easily find where that feature is created at. We now have lasso selections, we have environments, we have a history folder, where they added the slot mate, they have angular running dimensions, a virtual sharp, we can now use whole wizard slots, and we now have a sheet metal gussets command. So a lot of really great commands. They're in SOLIDWORKS 2013 and 2014. They've been added since we last recorded the course in 2012, and definitely something to take a look at. You can get the full listing of all the features if you come up to the top, click on help, and click on what's new. You can open an HTML or PDF. With each year, the software gets a little better. However, as you can see from the list of improvements, none of these really affect the core modeling environment. So we will get better, the software will get better. However, the foundation of a 3D part design stays the same, and that is essential.